Hey, what's up, everybody? I am Jason, and you're watching my channel, Micro Investor. All right, so in this video, I want to talk about how Apple wants to take on Netflix and Disney with their own streaming service. So Apple is planning to unveil their unnamed streaming service on March 25th, and it will be offering programming from the names of Oprah Winfrey, Jennifer Aniston, Reese Witherspoon, and the great Steven Spielberg. I wonder if Steven Spielberg will allow whatever is created on this new streaming service to be up for an Academy Award. Apple is spending $1 billion on programming and currently have 30 plus shows in the works and movies. Uh, they are going to try to make this a big competitor with Netflix. Now, currently, Netflix has 140 million subscribers. Amazon has 100 million, but that also includes their Prime service. So if you have Prime, you get that. And uh, Hulu has 25 million subscribers. Now, the Disney Plus comes out here soon, but Disney does own uh, pretty much half of Hulu once the uh, Fox deal does go through. Apple is shooting for it to be at least the second largest streaming service in the next five years. They're thinking that they can probably get about 100 million users out of this. Um, and that's not really um, too hard of thinking for them because they did launch uh, Apple Music a while back ago. And Apple Music is now up to 50 million subscribers. A large portion of Apple's money nowadays does come from services. So this will just be another service. And it does look like they're going to be planning on charging $12 a month. Uh, Apple does have enough money to do pretty much whatever they want with this. Uh, they will more than likely be buying a film studio and possibly a TV network like uh, CBS or Viacom to have even more content for this. And I'm pretty sure that all the same network shows that are both on Hulu and Netflix will also be available on the Apple streaming service. But I think it's really smart that Apple is going right in with making their own content for this because that makes them a better competitor with, you know, Netflix and Hulu, which are both offering out great content, uh, great original content for everybody to watch. And if you're invested in Apple or if you've been following the Apple stock, you'd notice the stock is actually up about 25%, over 25% over these last couple months. Uh, so when I stopped uh, averaging into Apple, it was about at 180 last year. Um, so since the stock is now past that mark, um, even the last shares that I bought of Apple, I've actually um, made a return on. And I mean last whole shares, not to be confused with the dividend investment videos that I make where I buy Apple every week. So I'm curious to know what people think about Apple creating a streaming service. Uh, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I have new videos coming out on my channel all the time. Thank you for watching.